Our first rule was the chain rule, or anarchy. Bring down the power, lower the power, just inside. Now we're going for the product rule. The product rule is when you have two functions multiplied together. Now, at the moment, it's probably not that useful because we're mainly only dealing with polynomials, and if you've got two polynomials multiplied together, it's easy enough to expand out. Where it becomes really useful is once we start looking at other types of functions, you know, trig functions, log functions. If you've got, say, x times log x, well, you can't expand that out. So you need some sort of rule which will allow you to differentiate a product of two functions. Now, this is the, the formal way of doing it, where u and v are the two functions, and they u v dash plus v u dash. No, no, no. Here it is. Write down the first and diff the second, plus write down the second and diff the first. Okay? Now, the quicker you say it, the more impressive it is. Write down the first, diff the second, plus write down the second, diff the first. <laughs> now, of course, reality is, this would be easier just to expand out first. But as I was saying, at this stage of the game, it's a bit hard to do that. So we'll use this for the sake of an example. And again, like yesterday's, the reason I do it this way is because I'm saying what I'm doing, and I'm doing it as I'm saying it. Write down the first. Oh, x to the 7 is the first one. Diff the second. Well, if I differentiate the second function, I get 9x to the power of 8. Plus, write down the second. Okay, I'll write down the second function. x to the 9 minus 6. Diff the first. Oh, differentiate x to the 7, I get 7x to the 6. Now, you can see what I mean by this is probably not the best way of doing this problem because I'm now going to have to expand out anyway to get my final answer. Uh, oh, there's some like terms there. But, but anyway, for the sake of an example, write down the first two to see. There it is. Again, would be quicker to expand the whole thing out, but let's do it the fun way. Write down the first if the second plus, write down the second if the first. x minus 2 times 2, 2x two minus 3 times 1 gives me 4x minus 7. Here's a notation we haven't really looked at yet. When they have a question, sometimes the question might say, differentiate this. It doesn't actually say y equals or function equals. They just say this particular function. And so that's when I'll use this notation. Oh, okay, you want me to differentiate this function with respect to x. In this case, it is simply equals, because I'm saying, oh, the derivative of this function equals this. Write down the first, diff the second. Plus, write down the second, diff the first. Expand that out. Tidying up terms, we have our answer. Here it is useful, because I really don't want to expand out x squared plus 4 to the power of 5. So I will use my product rule, but I'm also going to use the chain rule as well. How exciting is this? We're going to use two rules in the one question. Write down the first, 3x, diff the second, but diff the second I've got to use the chain rule, which is anarchy. So bring down the power, lower the power, diff the inside, put that boot in. Plus, write down the second, x squared plus 4 to the power of 5. Diff the first, differentiate 3x, we get 3. Let's tidy all that up. I've got common factors there of the 3. I've also got x squared plus 4 to the power of 4. Always the lowest power you factorise out. So I've got 3. Oh, did I miss a 10? Oh, no. I just multiplied the 3x times 5 times 2x. I said. Now I can pull out. Why haven't I pulled out the 3? Why haven't I pulled out the 3? It's a common factor. I still haven't pulled out the three. What's going on? Oh, phew. It would have been quicker just to pull that out at the start, wouldn't it? All right, so there's our answer. Three, x squared plus four to the power of four. 11 x squared plus four. Again, it comes in useful here because I can't multiply two x with the square root of two x minus one. Two x minus one to the power of a half will write less. So, write down the first, two x, diff the second. Oh, diff the second, I've got to use the chain rule. Anarchy. Bring down the power, lower the power, diff the inside. Plus, by the way, common mistake with this one, there's two, is people to forget to go plus right down the second, diff the first, because you've done so much work in just that first bit, completely forget about right down the second, diff the first. Okay, we have common factors here of two. Two x minus one to the power of minus a half. Doesn't matter that it's a negative indice, same rule applies. 
you factorize out the lowest power. Yes, I took the two out. Two, two x minus, uh, minus one to the power of minus half leaves me with x plus two x minus one. Mere mortal answer, super mathematician. There it is. Two, three x minus one on the square root of two x minus one. Seven f. <laughs>